Right, so um, will you come on to uh, tell you a bit about our, our project? Yeah, and, yeah, we uh, are. Let you give you some background info on uh, how is it? It's basically yeah. uh, come to be. <laughs> some of you must be wondering out there uh, how how did this uh, amateur poker stream like how did this even become a thing like playing 5p 10p cash games streaming a free roll for a society well uh, it's uh, mine and Bailey's uh, love child that we're gonna tell you a little bit about uh, if you want to hear <laughs> <laughs> right, just Deli being raised in the project nice he's a man of the streets yep um, well we'll just wait until this hand's finished uh, it looks like eights have got a lock on this hand Oh, nope, they're both going to chop this one up. Looks like that's ace to five on the board. It is, both players have a straight. And uh, we're not sure what seat three has here. Um, <laughs> we will have that fixed very, very soon. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, the way we all started out on this project is uh, I sort of came up with the idea because uh, Twitch has been take uh, poker's been taken off on Twitch. Yep. And with Twitch, you need something to stand out, make you a bit different from everybody else. And I was thinking, what could we do to try and uh, make a stream that isn't online? Because everybody streams online poker. Um, and it's it's high, kind of difficult to get a foothold in the Twitch market yep. by just doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. Um, so basically, I was thinking about it and I was like, what happens if we could do cheap, make a whole card? table yep. of some type and whether it be possible because I wasn't even sure at this point whether it actually be possible or not because yep. there's a lot of logistics behind it whether you can get all the cameras working whether you can stream on this uh, uh, connection which we only can just do um, <laughs> so I basically thought of this idea and I was I had it in my head for, uh, for a few weeks thinking about it and then I think it was a night in the guild wasn't it yeah it was it was a night is it I, over, over a beer over yeah. a beer and a game of poker I think yeah it was, was uh, and uh, I mentioned it to Kieran and he uh, took off on the idea and yeah. uh, made it his own yeah <laughs> uh, your your idea originally was to have like brackets hanging down from the table so like you'd have your, your playing surface like that and then little metal brackets down with the camera pointing up mm -hmm. um, which obviously uh, kind of works but it, obviously you've got to line up all the cameras every time perfectly and people might knock it with their legs and stuff um, so like my idea was to have a solid base <laughs> have a solid base of the poker table and have like a sheet of uh, plywood on the bottom where you can just glue the cameras on so it gives it a lot more like stability and um, then the cameras don't like shake around or anything like that and obviously there's no risk of players knocking it with their knees because they have to go through like 18 inch plywood yeah which uh, some of the players try their best to do but it hasn't <laughs> it hasn't faulted so far um, yeah so that was that was my design so I designed it all on SketchUp and um, was uh, talking about it before we broke up uh, f for the end of last year uh, before we left uni for the end of last year and we were talking about it over the summer and um, we were sorting about uh, we talked about what did we talk about over the summer um, we, we didn't really talk much until towards the end of the summer and uh, you were basically because we had to order the cameras from China because these are actually probably the cheapest web cameras you could possibly get and it cost me about 350 each because it actually came as a I mean obviously I wasn't very happy about the quality that we could possibly get but actually it's turned out okay because the actual data which uh, amount of data they're sending is a lot lower than the HD cams so it actually worked out okay yep. in the end um, so once we had the cameras uh, it was just a case of making plans of what we we're going to do yeah really. test, testing them all make sure they all worked on like four uh, three USB hubs like because this is all going into one my laptop which is in the other room um, so it's all going into OBS um, and then uh, it was just building and testing um, the cameras and like asking people we knew from the society and uh, people back home that I knew who was good at like designing stuff and asking for any ideas that they could put towards this and what was our motto like uh, and no idea is a bad, a bad no idea no idea is a bad idea that's Kira's yeah. motto that's my motto <laughs> no idea was a bad idea no matter how stupid it was um, and we did have we did have a few good ones like uh, but most of them just help towards or make you think about a problem in a different way, which was pretty good. Uh, my granddad came up with uh, flop cam, uh, the idea to have like a lamp uh, shaped uh, just off the table, and then um, instead of having the bulb in the ca uh, in the lamp, obviously you just have a camera. Yeah, uh, we, we've done something similar to that where it, there's a camera on a stand. Well, it's gonna it's gonna develop because I do have something in order with Argos at the moment. I sort out, which is uh, gonna give you a much better uh, a much better view. 
on the flop cam, and we're also going to be upgrading the cameras very, very soon, thanks to a, a generous donation from yeah. Economy Playfair. That's so true. next uh, stream, which hopefully be on Saturday, the cash game again, uh, I'm hoping the table cam will look a whole lot better, and also the flop cam will be a lot better as well. Yep, that's true. Um, and then, obviously, once we had all the ideas and the cameras working and in place and stuff, it was a, a matter of buying the wood, and because um, once the cameras work, you've just got to build the frame. So we were asking, uh, we asked everybody, didn't we, for yeah. for bits and pieces here and there, and um, <clears throat> who was it? Who, who gave us our first bit of? Uh, it was Sean at um, at Moor Lane. At Moor Lane, yeah, yeah. One of one of the technicians at uh, Moor Lane was like, "Oh yeah, we've got um, we've got like, uh, were they bed panels? They look like bed panels. They're like bed panels or some sort of like building. some sort of furnishing like uh, that they was using obviously to repair the student accommodation. And it was like there you go, lads. Uh, there's like eight planks of wood. And I was like, nice. Send yeah. it. And he also yeah. gave us some perspex as well. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, Sean was a massive help. Uh, and hopefully he'll be tuned into the stream. Well, shout out to him um, as well because I know he uh, did his knee in a couple of uh, yeah, about he did, a week yeah. or so ago. Yeah. So I hope he's getting better. Yep. Uh, I have a I have a house inspection, well, a flat inspection. Do that, you? Yeah, tomorrow. That I think. Um, so you're cleaning tonight? Yeah. Are you? Is that is that the plan? Yeah, gotta gotta keep it clean for Sean. <laughs> and um, yeah, so once we got that, um, he actually let us use one of the benches outside the student accommodation to do our first set of um, first set of uh, cutting the wood and um, jigsawing building it all the, building up. Building the frame. Oh um, yeah. By the way, this isn't a hand in in progress. This is me just getting camera three to work. Yeah. So they're all good. just doing so shit. We've got camera shaking. three back now. Yep, camera three's all that working. Is funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there is a little bit of a break, so we can continue talking about this. Um, yeah, so basically, we had like how many people did we have on that bench working we had about all seven, morning? Six or seven. Um, so basically, building. So the way the frame works underneath is the cat's ear, there yeah. is a central plank, and then you got several going along. So we had to slot the central central plank and the other ones to uh, make sure it all fitted together well. Yeah. Um, so basically, on the first day we made that, and we started cutting the holes as well in the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And measuring on the felt where you needed to cut out the holes, uh, for obviously for the coat, for the acrylic to go in. So shout out to uh, Rajesh uh, Delhi <laughs> uh, for jigsawing the wood for us that very first evening that we started building it. We got quite a lot done that evening actually. It was yeah, really good. Yeah, no, we got a good start going because when you get a project like this, sometimes you think, where the fuck do we start? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, so it was good to just make a start and get the frame start um, sorted. Um, and then we also had help from a, a very uh, helpful man. Oh yeah! Oh, shout out to this guy in the architecture department of UCLan is Gavin, uh, the legend that is Gavin. Who do you know the clear purse bricks that you can see? That is uh, laser cut by him, uh, all free of charge, I do believe. Yeah. Um, he's just like, oh, what do you need, lads? Um, looks like a, a really good project that you've got going on, and he, he helped us like. I can't even explain like how much he helped us. Yeah. It, well, well, just his can, knowledge as well, yeah. and just always willing to help. Yeah. Uh, so after he cut us the the laser uh, laser cut the acrylic for us, which he did in like an afternoon, even though he was like really busy, um, he he was like, "Oh, do you need anywhere to um, to assemble the frame and glue it and keep it overnight?" And I was like, "Yes, please." So he let us use his workshop, like the the proper architectural workshop that they use at UCLan. This was like a week before freshers started, so yeah. not all the students have, have moved in and started the course, obviously. So we had about five days in his uh, in his workshop to, to get this project done. And he was just there all the time, like asking if we needed any help or yeah. telling us better ways to fix wood or like, because none and, of us. Yeah, we'd never done any joinery or anything like that yeah. before. So we were always asking for ideas and it evolved because the first idea was drilling to secure the frame, was drilling up through the... Um, the, the bottom plywood. of the plywood yeah. um, with screws, but the problem with chip the chipboard which the frame is built with is it can chip really easily and like getting screws to go straight into that is a nightmare. So we actually ended up uh, doing it a different way. Just uh, yeah, we did a uh, screw in the middle, didn't we? Yeah, we screwed the one plank, but all the rest was just glued and slotted into each other. So like, uh, I don't even know. Like, uh, can you like that? Yeah, yeah, basically. like the scissoring, yeah, Scissor. the scissoring thing, <laughs> uh, just cut a thing, uh, some sort of like Star Trek thing, I don't know. Uh, but other than that, um, what else did we do? Uh, yeah, we got Sean give the wood, and then it was uh, a real problem because of the size of the table. Uh, once we got it assembled and built, we took it into the atrium, and we was like, "Where do we put it? Like, yeah. there's absolutely no space in the uni." So we spent 
like well, we, I spent like three or four nights with it in my room. <laughs> yeah, like no, in a that's sw- why it, where it became your baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it got priority. It took the bed. I did sleep on the couch one night. <laughs> Whoops. No, uh, what we actually did, um, we had a spare room because one of our housemates hadn't moved in. So we we put the table in his room after like juggling it through uh, more laying holes and getting it through all the doors. We just put it on his bed because he hadn't moved in yet. Mm. So then we went out on a night out to a warehouse that night. And um, we get in at about half two, maybe three o'clock in the morning, absolutely levered. And um, what do we know? Our housemates moved in. He was literally just moving in, like moving his bags into the room. So me and Simon, not this Simon, uh, Simon Steedman, um was was carrying this table like around our our flat at like three o'clock in the morning, hammered. <laughs> and I was I can like, imagine the scene. Yeah, I was like trying to keep serious. I was like, if we drop this, it's all over. The dream's <laughs> been shattered. But um, yeah, but we managed to get it into my room and onto the bed. Uh, and then I I kept on the couch. Yeah, so it took it took priority that night. Um, but that was that was pretty fun. Uh, we did have a lot of fun uh, at building it. I think yeah. even though it was a lot of work. Um, but when when it's a project that you're really really enthusiastic about, you just you want to spend like all time all your time yeah. doing it. We, I mean, pretty much all our spare time was just when yeah. we're not working on the table. We were talking about it. <laughs> yeah, and when we were talking about it, we was like actually designing something or helping out or mm. like asking people for help or just. Uh, I was constantly thinking it was about those three it. four days, wasn't it, where we just absolutely smashed it? And, yeah, because in the end, it took us four day, about I think four days to make it. Didn't yeah, it? about four days to make it from um, from the frame that we built at Moor Lane, and that was in a proper workshop. Even though I do maths and uh, barely graduated in chemistry, so none of us are like, I dare I say, it, engineers <laughs> or um, do anything like woodwork or stuff like that. So after it was made, we then had the technical part, which is where I came in because I was I've done a bit of streaming before, um, and we really wanted to uh, have the stream on a delay. Um, and this is where the idea of a second laptop came in and sending out the stream to a separate server um, because if we did it on the same laptop the cables are only about 10-15 meters long so we'd be right next to the table commentating on it and the commentary would be on the stream live so it would spoil the action so the solution I came up with is I bought a Raspberry Pi and I programmed it to accept uh, streams Um, so basically what it does is it from Kira's laptop captures everything it sends it over the internet to my server and then we use this laptop to pick it up with the delay on it and then we commentate live to you guys. Yep. Um, so programming that was quite fun. I'd never done anything like that before but there's plenty of help always out there on the internet. So uh, Yeah, you did I, a really good job. I was really surprised. <laughs> yeah, I, I was surprised when it started working because I did it once. I got, when I got uh, delivered, I did everything first time and tried to get it to work and it wouldn't work so I was pretty pissed off and <laughs> at that point I was just like, I'm going to go to bed now and start fresh again tomorrow. It was, so like five yeah. Yeah, it was like five, five o'clock. o'clock in the morning <laughs> and I was like okay now I'll, I'll just start again tomorrow and I started again for fresh the day after followed the instructions and got it working so yep this is uh that's why we can do do the delayed stream yep which is obviously we need the delayed stream to protect uh, the people's hands even though we're not playing for much we're playing for pride and, and for the would, league yeah for, for the league playing, prize we're playing for pride and a big cup and um it's nice to be able to watch the stream as well, not not being not denying people having to not watch the stream or people hiding the stream in their pocket and cheating. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's not what it's about. Um, it's all about having a, a bit of fun. And um, we've actually got the stream next door, so they can all probably hear my voice uh, as we commentate to you guys on Twitch. Um, but other than that, we came into a few issues uh, once we'd actually built the table that we didn't didn't think about. Because yeah. we knew about the darkness, like obviously it's all, like when players are sat around the table, if you think about where the camera is and how it's looking up at the cam- uh, the cards, it's going to be pitch black. So we bought uh, we bought L- LED webcams to start with. Yeah, they got LEDs mounted into the webcams. Yeah, and we thought that would fix the problem and, and it, you'd be able to see it clearly. But uh, we didn't we didn't take into account the the glare on the uh, yeah the it's not diffuse lighting so it just shines directly on it so you get quite a lot of glare yeah that's why in the few previous streams you might have seen a, a little circle around um, um, the cameras where it was really bright and then darker towards the edges so that was a pretty simple fix all we needed to do is I think you went down to did you go down to home base or? I went to uh, Maplin yeah just went to Maplin and got uh, eight 
just like wall mount lights that he just stick on and change the batteries and I think they look really really clear we just need to get some rechargeable batteries that's the only thing mm. the only thing is though they take they take three AA yeah yeah AA, but, AAA. but the thing is you can get we, you can get a load of cheap rechargeable batteries to uh, sort it out so, yeah that's... so if anybody in chat knows where to get cheap rechargeable batteries it would mm. be much appreciated yep because we don't have to want to change them every week because um, the ones that they came with it only lasted two two streams two three yeah and then it started going darker again and you couldn't see it and obviously we don't want that for you guys no you want to be able to see all the hands yep so once we got all that sorted uh, I know yeah a long a long um, a long speech here but um we went into like the overlays and we was messing around with them and I mean I've got a bit of experience using a uh, gimp which is like a, a free sort free version of photoshop so I'd, i made up some uh some templates and just get an idea because we started off with the just the table in the middle yeah and then the whole cams around it where the players were but it looks really messy and it was difficult to design because it wasn't Perfect. straight like it is now um so kieran came up with the idea of having the seats the pocket uh cams on the side yeah which i think works pretty well actually so uh i'm pretty happy with that yeah, it looks it looks neater, I think, and it uses the space a bit better. Exactly, yeah. So you you got more space to do things, which yep. is uh, the best thing because you need places to put donation things and follow stuff. So I think the overlay now the actual template we got, whether it changes a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but I think we're pretty much there now with the overlay. So big shout out to Glenn, yep. um, Regis, Delhi, I think in the uh, in the <laughs> chat for uh, doing all the work on the uh, the overlay. We very much appreciate it. Thank you to him for that. Yeah, it's a really, really nice uh, overlay here, and um, also the uh, the logo <coughs> as well was also designed by Glenn. So uh, shout out for for that as well. So thank you very much, Glenn. I think the logo still needs work, though, Glenn. The, the, yeah, but it's, it's just <laughs> no, a, a placeholder at the moment. It can yeah, be updated. Yeah. It can be changed. Like we can uh, add to things. That's that's the whole thing. Yeah, the poker chip with the white background. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. We, I know. It's because it's a JPEG an image. I think it should be a PNG with the background deleted, so then it actually fits in with the. Uh, Yep. overlay so again little little changes little things we're slowly going to improve yeah if you look back to our first stream or even the second stream there's a huge huge uh, improvement uh, to like the quality from from the first week to this week like straight away I could tell straight away like as soon as we, we got this overlay and um, got the, all the lighting done with the cameras and stuff um, so what would you think is our next step into improving the stream well the next step as I said with the uh, the new camera uh, being over the top, um, so it's definitely no DCs. Yeah, I know. We, I really want to get this wired connection. Did you go and speak to uh, anybody about this wired connection? Yeah, uh, we did. Uh, I sent uh, my best man, uh, Vice Chairman Ross Higgins, uh, to the library, and he delegated that further to uh, Derny, who does everything. And um, he said that we can't be allowed access to a wired connection because we're students. And what? It, yeah, I know. I know. And um, so I said, oh, well, Derny's, um, Derny works at the uni, doesn't he? So mm. surely he'll be able to. And um, he went and said that, and he said, no, you're not allowed on the wide connection. And I was like, well, I'm going to have to speak to Laurie about that uh, later, later in the week. Okay, so that, that's, that's the thing that's going to come along. So the DCs, will the disconnects will be sorted out once we get this wide connection. So hopefully we can get it sorted out. Mm. Um, if we can get a wide connection from this laptop, we'll be streaming very, like... With no disconnects whatsoever. If in this room that we're in now, there's literally uh, an Ethernet port like every two meters along the wall. It's ridiculous. What's the point of having all these Ethernet ports if students I know, yeah. can't use it? Like it's I know. crazy. It's literally there's like eight Ethernet ports, and I'm not even joking. In this room, that are literally just behind me, and it's just it just helps so much. Like without it dropping out, has it dropped out today? Um, I saw the chat. Has it dropped out at all today? I, not that I've seen. Um, so it seems to be going okay. I think it must have because you see where it says live. Yeah. Two hours nineteen. Have we been going for about that? No, we've been going for longer than that. Yeah, so it must have dropped out maybe a couple of times. But it's, it's again, it's based on bandwidth and who's uh, who's been use, who's using uh, the internet. So like on Saturday, we hardly had any disconnects. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, on Saturday around campus, there's uh, there's not many people using the internet. Mm. Um, so. I expect it to get worse as the night goes on because as source fills up and people yeah, yeah. use the Wi-Fi in there, so you may get a few more disconnects later on. Yeah, nice. Um, so, yeah, so the better mic, which we've uh, had a donation from um, Connemary Playfair, 
No, you didn't oh, no, not, the not for the mic, sorry, that was for the camera. Yeah, but yeah, go on, show it again. So this is the, uh, the new mic that I uh, purchased with my own money because I'm going to use it myself. That was the old one. This is the old one. That was my, my old one as well. This one's much better, much clearer, and it's uh, very highly rated, so I thought, just get it, and I can use it myself anyway, so. Yeah, and I think it has been a, a big improvement because there's not that buzzing or that humming that you might have heard in the previous streams. Yeah, exactly. That was the main thing that I wanted to get rid of, and that was only because there was a booster on that mic because it's really quiet. Yeah, yeah, and um, once we've got the audio sorted so that like we can get it perfectly so you can hear us really clearly every week, we might be able to incorporate a bit of background music. Yeah, possibly. Uh, and Gutshot Grey, one second if I get this. Uh, that one. The mic is a Meteor mic. And it was uh, about 50 quid, um, which is actually alright for, uh, for a mic of that quality. That's uh, It's a good, uh, good, probably the best value for money mic you can get on the market because I did a lot of research around it. And it came out top in a lot of polls uh, saying it's the best value for money and it seems to be doing the job. So. Yeah, I think it's done really well. Like you can clearly see, like it picking up the voice pretty clearly, even when you just talk normally. <clears throat> so hopefully on the Saturday stream we'll have this new camera sorted and uh, it will work and all that. Yeah, and uh, that will improve the the stream even more. It's just little steps, just slowly improving. So you want to say something about the online league as well? Um, yeah, uh, that's another thing. Um, other than streaming Saturday. Um, we, we want to stream the online league which we play Sunday, so it will be an online league, obviously it won't be on the whole camp card table. Um, I've got that overlay in progress, getting made. Awesome. Yep, so um, we'll be able to have, I think I think you'll probably follow me in the in the online league. Well, I think on we'll my switch it around, won't we? we well, cause say yeah, like we Because we usually have grind sessions on a Sunday, Oh yeah, we have that's five true. or six people playing. Um, so if we're playing a big comp and someone starts going deep, we'll probably switch over to them. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, stream them. So say someone goes deep in the storm, like we had the Red Spade Open and last yep. weekend, which nobody went that deep in, which is annoying. <laughs> I played. I played exactly two hands in the Red Spade. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I played exactly two hands. I late regged like a, an hour and a half because I didn't really want to play it. But Conor Murray Playfair was like, "Go on, I'll, I'll stake you fifty percent. It, it only happens once a year, and um, go on. It, I, I'm sure you can take it down." So I joined. Folded the first hand, then busted Ace King into Jacks. I was like, <laughs> the brilliant. standard flip. Yeah. So yeah, online <clears throat> league. So we're hoping to have a stream on Saturday of the the live cash game, which will probably start around about six o'clock. Um, and then hopefully on Sunday we'll have uh, another stream of um, of the on, of the online league and also our grind on the Sunday. So uh, tune in for them. Uh, Champions Cup. Yeah, uh, it's all building up towards the the Champions Cup at the end of the year. So that's obviously what all these points go towards for the final table. This isn't the final table, but um, it will be... Um... <laughs> Just take a minute here. Uh, Ross is uh, all oh, yeah. in Sorry, uh, seat one with uh, aces. aces. Um, and uh, he's going to be called by tens here. And it looks like he's also been called by nine six, who's also all in. So we're going to see a three-way all in here. Uh, aces versus tens versus nine six. Uh, they show down. SSV 10, 10, V 9, 6, is I it? think this is uh, David Paul and uh, Ross Higgins. And the board's King, Queen, 3, and ten, a 10 on the turn. 10 on the turn, set of 10s, takes it down, knocks out two players here. That's David Paul taking it down. Uh, well played there with the all-in pre and a bit of luck. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't play aces, me. No. So we'll go back to the action now. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed that uh, sort of summary of how yep. the projects... Uh, uh, advanced and uh, if anybody has any suggestions post them on our Twitter post them on yep. just any any way you can communicate with us just uh, let us know and we're always willing to as you said uh, no idea is a bad idea yeah, no idea is a bad idea exactly if you want the Twitter handle the Twitter is in our social media section underneath the stream also if you want to donate to improve the stream there's also a donate button down below so feel free to donate anything and all proceeds will be uh, going towards uh, improving the table so you have a better viewing experience 100% and if you haven't already just uh, make sure you follow us so you know when we go live obviously we, we don't get it on the dot at like 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock when we say we're going to be streaming because it takes time setting up the table and sometimes people sleep in yep exactly and uh, <laughs> that definitely didn't happen today <laughs> Uh, when you set your alarm for half four, you want to get up at half four, <laughs> not at seven o'clock. Like, I went to bed at like 
1 1 p.m. just have a nice little nap because I was working this morning. I was like, okay, I have a couple of hours just uh, <laughs> sleep and then get a phone call off of Kieran at 7 going, where are you? And I'm like, what time is it? 7. I'm like, shit. <laughs> yeah, um, so all, 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 all of things like that. So the, if you hit the follow button, you'll be able to see exactly when we go live and um, you won't be... So uh, we are going to be gaining some...